<laughs> well, hello, and welcome to the laughter of our commentary team. My name is Natara, and I am your restreamer for this evening. Uh, we are going to have an awesome weekly race here. Uh, it's it's going to be fairly similar to anything you might be watching if you have, in fact, <laughs> been checking out the uh, Highway to the Zima Zone qualifiers, but I'll let our uh, team explain that. On comms today, we have Couch23 and Scala Kitty, and our tracker is Lore Master Motas, so I'll let you folks take it away. Thank you so much, Natara, and thank you all to everyone who's coming out watching the race this evening. Uh, we have a little uh, variation on uh, the Highway to the Zima Zone. This is Highway to the Giant, so it is a V2 seed instead of a V1 seed. So our racers are going to be searching all around the good blue planet trying to find the darkness crystal made their way to the giant and then defeat the two bosses who are lurking in the center uh so touch what are you excited to see this evening Couch? sorry about that i was just trying to uh, cut off some background noise no worries <laughs> no worries all right uh you're gonna have to repeat that question i i apologize it's a little oh, no. here just asking what you are excited to see this evening. We see oh, we've got a I, SID start. I am excited to see some epic trolling, and I'm 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 interested to see if anybody highly doubt it skips that line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a pink tail right at the start. We have a uh, Palom here, yeah, joining SID. So yeah, yeah, but it is indeed a no adamant seed, so no adamants from that pink tail. They will still get a. A uh, high uh, level equipment item, so we'll see what that ends up being. Uh, it's a pretty solid starting team as well, especially since it's, it's pretty mm -hmm. solid overall. Really uh, high HP and relatively higher damage than anyone else. Yeah, because so he'll start right in at uh, level 25. Is it 25 or 20? It's 20. 20! 20. 20. Uh, edge starts at 25. <laughs> <laughs> It's like so that let's... And uh, okay. Baron in there. Yeah, we got the, uh, the, looks like those are the Kaipo guards there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, pretty easy fight to get through there at the beginning. Only mm -hmm. 400 HP divided between the four. So, uh, yeah. Uh, wizard robes and a strength ring in uh, Rose's house. Pretty fantastic. Oh, yeah. We got something for uh, each of our two starting characters. So everyone's kind of going through doing their little uh, trek through Baron at the start. Uh, uh, the T flag, though, is still on T3, just like it is for the Zima Zone. So we can occasionally find some good stuff. So, oh, wow, we already found... Is that a crystal armor that we picked up in there? That is a crystal armor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be good money for the start of all this. Oh. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we saw elements at uh, the Octomom spot, which is uh, basically useless. They're just looking for the D-Mist right. fight, which will uh, unlock, potentially unlock a key item. Still, though, it's good to have elements sort of out of the way and where they will not be bothering us, the seed. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Especially if it's in a very inconvenient spot like, say, uh, Leviathan or Ashura. Yeah, that is definitely what we would not want to see. Zilch sells off the Soma Drop, which uh, huh, it's kind of an interesting play to me, uh, especially if you pick up, uh, say, Rydia early. It'll help, uh, could possibly yeah, we... help get, like, a Sylph off or something. Yeah, we've only seen uh, one other Palom, so we don't quite know who else is going to be on our party. Uh, like the regular Zima Zone, this is CNX, so that means that not all characters are guaranteed. So we might see some more Palooms, we might see some Rydias. We'll have to just uh, see what the seed has in store for us this evening. Absolutely. Uh, notice a, a Lilith Rod on Echolink's side, which is uh, very good for our Black Mages. We'll uh, allow for some free MP steel oh. if needed. Looks like there was another twin in bed uh, in Kaipo down on Zilch's side. Unfortunately, uh, he kind of went in and out a little fast to see if it was uh, Palom or Porum. Yeah, I really didn't get a peek, unfortunately. Yeah, just enough to quickly see that it was a twin. Ooh, Mega Link is taking the elements fight. I'm thinking for some maybe quick experience on Palom to get uh, those level 2 spells, which will help s substantially against some of these early bosses. 
Yeah, definitely something where hopefully it wouldn't be too quick to go through. And we see that there is a uh, biking down there, an antlion cave. Definitely a, a, a pretty nice spot for Bygen to show up. Um, it's a really weak defensive spot. Then uh, it should be quite easy to bump through all the 1,000 HP split. Oh, yeah. this I'm sure it won't take too long for uh, Tirasu to get through this. Yeah. And uh, see, we got Dr. Cossack and Zilch raiding through Damsian right now. Um, trying to pick up as much gear they can to sell off and uh, get that hovercraft primed and ready to go in case they come across the hook. Let's see, we have Mechaling doing a very quick Demis check. Just finds Ogopogo. Oh, gonna go ahead and fight Ogopogo there. Alright, and for the Antline Cave, we got a crystal sword! It's not a sword we need. It's not a sword we might not even be able to use currently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Zilch is actually heading to uh, Toroya here. Uh, two item shops, three, or is it four items chilling? I think it's four items just chilling in the back. Um, could be useful for uh, for some money, but uh, usually people won't check it just because it's really out of the way. Uh, usually just come here for the two item shops and, uh, and the bounce. Yeah, some Hourglass 2s, which uh, Mechalink's not going to pick up. Maybe hoping for some Hourglass 1s. Yeah, if you can save that money there, it's a good play. Even means waiting a little bit. We've got uh, Tirasu right now climbing up Mount Hobbs. So let's see who's up there. It's another sit, and it's Demus! Fancy. Fancy, fancy, indeed. So... Uh... It's quite some more damage output right there with an extra Sid. It'll be, uh, actually quite a lot more. Basically just double damage output, and then, uh, is that Stardust Rod? Or is that just a Stardust item? Uh, we'll Didn't get a chance to see. Real quick for... Uh, it must, it must have been an item if it's only cast it once. Yeah, okay, cool. Rex, keeping us honest. Yeah, Stardust item. Alright. That looks like a Crystal Sword of that outline. I don't know if we yep. had uh, notated that before. but uh, Yep, I made a quick, be, very yeah. quick note right. of it. Uh, could, obviously, uh... depends on if we get uh, our dear uh, Paladin Cecil. Oh yeah, and if even not, it could be a quick sell for some easy money. So, yeah. Tears is probably going to go straight down to Mist. Uh, cabin pickups and uh, cabins and unicorns. I believe that's. Uh, I don't know what town that is. Actually, didn't happen to see. That uh, Mecha Link is in. It's uh, a okay. city. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's actually useful. Cabins are pretty. Uh, are always a good buy. They give you revive plus full heal. Um, they're they're pretty nice. Unfortunately, Demis, though, not anything required, just a Leviathan summon. I mean, it'd be nice if we see Rydia in the off chance at, like, uh, say, a Baron or something. If we have oh, to yeah. find a Baron key. Oh, and Mechalink now over in Agar picking up some illusions. Okay, uh, just some good safety items just in case we run into some of the more uh, physically inclined bosses. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Uh, TRC right now is going to be giving us our first look at uh, what has replaced the Fabul Gauntlet for this seed. Ooh, moon boss. I've already seen Ogopogo. Ah, uh, it's the D-Lunars. Uh, pretty, pretty solid spot if you uh, just uh, can get some... Uh, defensive stuff off, throw some cure twos, um, and uh, just bluff with Palum. Uh, one or two bluffs will make this fight pretty quick if you can uh, get it off. Tears is going just all in on fire too. <laughs> oh, I, oh, there's some... Oh yeah, oh, okay, that was a cure two for Palum. Also valid. Oh, cool. These aren't going to take too long at all. 
Uh, he who is pale. We opened up uh, with the pink tail tonight. And uh, Tirsu is actually basically locking out the D lunar here. So now that both D lunars are gone and he physically attacked one, uh, throw up a wall which locks out its AI because it's looking for a responsive uh, Ice Three or virus. Actually, I'm used to uh, used to a different game. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it, it looks for a counter virus, and what happens there is it will next it will ne that locked D lunar will never do anything except for flame. Oh, I have the feeling that everyone's gonna be excited because Fabul just gave us the twin harp. Music time. Music seed. Always love a music seed. Let's see if anybody takes that right quick, or if they decide to go barren in and uh, exhaust all sources before they go there. Will anyone be the people's champion tonight? I mean, one can only hope. I mean, I always hope for required music. That's Absolutely. always a dream. <laughs> Ooh, picking up some more gear so, there. We mm, saw Dr. Cossack put on that strength ring there. Um, strength ring will more than likely uh, give you an extra multiplier on your attack just depending on where you fall in the strength uh, the strength multi boost um, it's, it's usually worth throwing it on though and uh, an extra multiplier is really huge in this game because that's that's how you get your high damage calculations out there so we'll see uh, how that pays off uh, in the fight It'd be really great if they came across an Earth Animal for Sid, since that does happen to be fire-based for for some unknown reason. <laughs> I mean, that that makes total sense, right? Earth Earth is fire, right? Yeah, yeah totally, totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, Palom having all these level two skills really early is quite nice, and it makes for some of these bosses really easy to get through. Oh yeah, the game. Like, in general, does not expect you to have those spells quite this early, so helps uh, chew through uh, a lot of HP for us. Oh, is Terrace doing it? Oh no. Uh, I got faked out. He just wants to go <laughs> <laughs> go check the jukes. Uh, the jukes. I guess I can go check the, uh, the treasure room down there. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty solid check. It's nine total items, if you can count the middle room. You could get some pretty solid gear in T3 there. I'm loving all these item picks up pickups that are uh, that are out. We got a box of wine. We got a big bomb. We got some other miscellaneous stuff that are uh, that are going to be very very useful to uh, to beating some of these bosses. Oh, Mechalik right now going into Baron Inn, going to see uh, what uh, he can find here. So. We knew, of course, that we have the uh, Kaipo guards for our first uh, boss. We'll have to see who's uh, hiding, though, as our second. But it's actually this... a... Oh, go ahead. Hmm? Oh, I'm saying that this this shouldn't be anything at all difficult for, for Mecha. Yeah, definitely. Uh, another use of the... Another good use of the Earth Hammer would be right here. Just uh, use it as an item to uh, pump through this uh, damage really quick. Because it casts Quake, but it's... A very, very, very weak quake, but it will still uh, take out some of the uh, some of the easy, easy bosses. So, ooh, but Valvulus though. Ooh, not but bad. Valvulus, not uh, not bad, but still, this could definitely. We'll have to see. Uh, uh, how ma Mechalink... Magic's gonna be a little useless here. Uh, wait, actually, no, this should hit. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, there we go. Y right. Yang's got really low M defense here. I totally forgot this is Yang's spot. Yeah, so not not as rude as she could be. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, seeing Val Valis out of the way this early is very nice, especially being a uh, a V two seed where could have could have valid elements or valid CPU and have a uh, a very rough fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's going on. Dr. Cossack is going to be our first runner on stream to uh, climb ordeals. I, I like the or I like the early ordeals play. Um, it's three bosses knocked out of the way. Um, that's ever useful for uh, for knocking out some of the uh, 
We're knocking out some of the prerequisites for Foo. If we happen to stumble upon Foo. Oh no, oh, okay, that's a head plume gun. I tried, not quite yet, but he's dangerously close. Uh, doesn't matter. Well, at least he will come back. At least he'll be cured of his petrification. <laughs> Alright, ooh, so Dr. Cossack on our deals. Is it Water Hag or is it the Gauntlet? Aww, it's just Water Hag. Poor Water Hag. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. So that's, uh, that's one easy fight knocked out of the way, unfortunately. Um, just allows quick movement on that ordeals. And uh, basically going to be one of the hardest spots coming up in the game, in my opinion, is uh, the Mylon Z spot. Especially if you get a really nasty boss like Odin there or something would be really, really rough to see right now. Oh, did Tarasa just, like, uh, completely nope out after seeing uh, Val there? Yeah, I, I, that's what it looked like. Or maybe they uh, they thought their uh, equipment wasn't set up right or something, or they didn't have a safety save. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I happened, I was look, I was watching oh, uh, Dr. Oh. Kassik get evil uh, wall people. <laughs> oh, Mega, Mega Link, though, got through. Oh, finds the hook. Now, this is interesting, though. So, we do have the boss check on. So, seeing the hook here behind Val means that, that the Mega he still can be out there, right? I believe so. Uh, Magma should be able to be behind Twin Harp, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not really uh, familiar neither. with the newer logic. I don't know if it's changed at all. <laughs> well, we'll see what we get from more deals. This is our first piece of progression so far, though. Yeah, definitely. It's uh. Well, it, we have we have we have the twin the, heart. Not but, the best piece. But, but no one's uh no one's cashed that in yet. Uh, I, I think it'd actually be a pretty good play with this team. You've got two Sids, which are uh, pretty high at physical damage dealers. Um, it just sucks if you run into something like Ashura. And that would be uh, quite rough, unless you picked up Star Veil somewhere. Uh, there are Star Veils for sale. I did see them earlier. Um, I'm not trying to remember which shop they were in. But I know for sure that there are definitely Star Veils readily available for them. For our runners. Dr. Kossack hit through the evil wall. That's fantastic. And we're about to uh, see what item slash key items up here. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the Luka key. Yeah, Re Rex is kind of agreeing with me <laughs> that it should be, uh, that we should find magma somewhere. But let's see uh, what we get on ordeals. Yeah, as long as we don't run into like Golbez here or something. It's a possibility that magma can show up. Oh, ah, baby. there it is! There what it a, is! What a play by Doctor. Like, let's hope. Uh, let's hope Mecha Link and whoever has done uh, whoever has done the Baron in, meaning Tirasu and Zilch as well, decide to go up ordeals. Let's uh, let's hope they do and don't waste their time going through. Because that's, uh, that's a fairly hefty time loss. Yeah, hopefully everyone else will be very quickly uh, clued in. Yeah, they, they, they know this flag set well. This is, like, like we said earlier, it's a variation on the uh, current league flag set. And all these runners have been uh, put in their, their time there, so they'll be able to figure it out quick. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tears you making the play up ordeals, so they're gonna get their magma key right quick. Really easy boss fights up the top too. There really wasn't uh, yeah. nothing really standing out. Ooh, 
looks like uh, Zil just having some issues with Val here. Ooh. <laughs> no, you can do it. Maybe not on this try, Zilch, but you can do it. <laughs> uh, luckily, Zilch has got some items to spare. Should be able to punch through the last of Val's HP here. Easy peasy. There we go. Now let's see. Uh, let's see if anybody takes uh, takes their twin harp to uh, to turn it in before they go underground. Intrigued to see if anybody's going to do that or if they're just going to dive. Uh, Magma Key was on ordeals. Uh, just to answer Tatara's question in chat. It's not even like that. We we're just going over how it's not even that bad of an ordeals tonight. Yeah. The only quote unquote scary thing is the evil wall at Mile on Z, and even then it's it's only 3,000 HP and you've got two Sids and a Palum to punch through. Should be no problem at all. Dr. Cossack, though, immediately turning in the Magma Key, could be making his way downtown underground. Uh, but uh, oh, Dr. Cossack could shot. be missing out on a uh, could be missing out on a valuable character with uh, with with missing the hook. That is true. Could be a Cecil. It could. We have that crystal sword. I don't know if anyone sold it or not yet. They're going to hang <laughs> on to it for dear, dear life. Yeah, Mecha Link taking over, uh, taking on the D Lunars with two Palums and two Sids. Uh, going to have no issues punching through these two really quick. Okay, Dr. Cossack wanted to make sure that he had cleared out the Baron Inn before he goes underground. Pretty smart play. Def especially since it opens up another character. Yeah, what, what's better than one Palum? Two Palums. Exactly. Go down, throw, throw a Siren or two, get, uh, get yourself Quake on two Palums, slice through all these uh, bosses like nothing. See, so, so Zilch is gonna go and uh, turn in the pink tail, find out what we actually end up getting for that. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, Ooh an Artie bow. That's uh, that's ever so useful. That's definitely that's a little spicy. Especially since uh, I, I see a Dorfax being tossed around by a few of these sids. So we'll see uh, which Sid ends up being a uh, amazing archer <laughs> Sid. <laughs> Gotta have everyone. Yeah, gonna make the uh, play up ordeals. Good going, Zilch. <laughs> Sid Rangers is a legitimately good party, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> I'm actually interested to see what uh, how these people are going to route what they got now that they know what they have. Yeah, if anyone's going to try and exhaust the overworld before they go underground, we still have that twin harp in play that no one's turned in yet. Yeah. Oh, come on, pa pander to the people, racers. <laughs> yes! Pander for us. Let us hear the beautiful music and see if Harp is nothing. Ah, ah, Dr. Cossack, did you hear me? I, oh no. Oh. Ah, so <laughs> close. I got so baited. I, I do like Zulch's strategy here, grinding on some of these uh, Liliths. A decent grind spot for some extra levels. Could easily get Quake on these Palums here, which I think they're probably going to do. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Maybe up, even up just virus. virus. Yeah. Maybe even just virus itself is pretty big. Well, Dr. Cossack, though, is going to give you uh, what you've been looking for, Couch. Uh, check on who is the character we have down here. Ooh, and that <gasps> shop. Ooh. That's that's a spicy shop. We got our Best one. Thing. Oh, yeah. Especially with two SIDs. Man. Easy. easy. What an easy seed. <laughs> now, now, don't say that word. Natara can hear you. She prides oh. herself on also rolling troll seeds. Oh. She she is she's yet to live up to that trolliness so far. Ooh, it's a <laughs> challenge. Okay. 
fair, Natara. Yes, it, it's <laughs> just inevitable. The Sids have found their vacation juice. You know, it's it's hot. They're just going to crack open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> that the boys happens to just be a copy of yourself. Don't even worry about it. Don't even think about it. Indeed. So you well, can see Dr. Dr. Kosick not even bothering though picking up the chest on the way. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that trap chest. Ooh, and <gasps> Ooh. Those, uh, those ninja swords though. Gonna That's be that... super useful. <laughs> yes, one very pointy ninja boy. This is a this is a pretty heavy physical team with uh, Bacchus Wines and Edge and two Sids. That's uh, going to be quite the unstoppable force. I mean, you, who needs to worry about having a white mage when you're just going to kill everything? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ah, he sold his longsword, but he kept the ninja sword. That's smart. Let's see if he grabs any more chests on the way. To nope, doesn't look like it. Like, uh, Zilch and both Mechalink are making their way through upper fields. Zilch just getting through the Mylon spot, and uh, Mechalink is slowly chipping away at this uh, evil wall here. Who always looks super distraught when I see, uh, when I see this fray. <laughs> I, I mean, wouldn't you be super distraught if you were trapped in a wall? Uh, it depends on what day it was. <laughs> Fair and valid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some just, days you just get stuck in a wall. I, I have liked how over the course of the Final Fantasy games, the evil walls have just gotten like more and more like... <laughs> Like, like, less and less of a wall and more and more things that just happen to be stuck in walls. Yeah. You know, I think FF7 has to have, like, the closest evil wall to evil oh. wall. Ooh, fair. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Dr. Cossack. Gonna do a bit of grinding Ooh. before... Get, get those Quake Boys. The, the Quake Boys are back in town. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a fairly easy fight as well, especially with those coffins. Oh yeah, this is going to go by real quick. Oh, that, that those 19 levels though. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Oh, we got warp too. This is a, probably one of the most useful skills in this uh, randomizer. Especially if you need to backtrack your way out of a dungeon and you really don't feel like walking. And you don't have uh, access to exit, which we don't! Alright, so Dark Eyes is going straight down into the Fame Arch. Going to see. Those free items. Yeah, we'll see. We have the one free key item down there, and then both uh, Leviathan and Azura are in play. So see if there's anything that we might be able to uh, cheese down there. Yeah, that'd be uh could could be a few bosses down there. Fortunately, yeah. we've we've lost Water Hag, we've lost the the Kaipo guards. Uh, it's too cold. Okay, oh, well there we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing else matters. <laughs> Disregard all prior comments. <laughs> Pretty sure we're gonna see that uh, that crystal sword get sold off, uh, and I'm assuming a fair amount of sirens being purchased. Also, also Motos, our our wonderful tracker for this evening. I saw you making that uh, darkness crystal do a little flash there, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I'm, I'm still hoping for music, unfortunately. Uh, I, I don't want to see anybody do it now that we know where darkness is, but. I mean, it's, it's music. It's music. <laughs> uh, there are, let's see, Baron guards. There's yeah, Plague, King Queen Eblon, Star Veils, King Queen Eblon. And look, yeah. see, Tirasu, true man of the people. Gonna go up there, get oh, music baby. at least. Oh music yeah. <laughs> 
uh, unfortunately, now that we know where darkness is, that it, it, it's kind of it's kind of doo doo that uh, we're seeing tears to go. But uh, that's it's nature of the randos. Indeed, it is. Now we'll see if anyone else does the uh, quick, uh, edge pickup. Yeah, that's. Uh, it looks like uh, Zilch is gonna go do it really quick. And, hey. uh, and Mechalink getting old ladyed but rejuked, so uh, an easy walk out. Uh, well, uh, Tearsters making the walk there. Did Dr. Cossack check the, uh, our, uh, temp drop dwarf? Or is the seed still uh, invalid? I'm pretty sure it's still invalidated. It looks uh. like Dr. Cossack just went to the item shop and was looking for, uh, some coffins, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, coffins being a dwarf castle makes this a quick grind, and, uh, pr uh depending on what bosses are where. We, we could see a really, really nasty boss at Elements and uh, could see some considerable grinding to get through, especially with the team that we have. No white mage is pretty rough. Yeah. yeah could so see far. A, could see a Moonshop check, actually, for some Cure 3s, because I don't think I've seen Cure 3s yet. Oh, that is absolutely a possibility. Ooh, Tearsu doing that quick little side step there and finding a Cursed Ring. Uh, that's a pretty solid pickup right there. Oh, Curse Spring is uh, going to be very, very handy for that element spot and reducing the, uh, the agility. All right, let's find out what our music is today. Do love some FF1 music. It's really, really solid OST. Yeah, Castle Corneria, very nostalgic. Nice and smooth and relaxing as all this other stuff is happening. Oh, nuclear physicist? Yes, definitely look like a nuclear physicist to me. <laughs> it went by a little too yeah. fast, but. Chat, 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 chat's got us. Oh, baby. So finding uh, Odin here. Doctor Cossack going to the moon, checking that item shop. It's spicy, looking for those cure threes more than likely, since we have uh, sirens and uh, coffins located. Ooh, not there. Nope. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be interesting. I wonder if uh, Doctor Cossack's gonna go rack up on some cure twos or if they're just gonna they're just gonna grind and go hmm. uh, uh, Ooh. Oh, 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 the, <laughs> the sids made it through <laughs> good going sids oh and also dr cossack funny on who oh okay there were okay there were oh, okay. Cure threes and tamra okay i just happened to miss them then yeah maybe looking okay. for that cecil Oh, it's Iridia. I think with this team, I'd, I'd pass on Iridia. Now, to be fair, she does no cure one. <laughs> uh, yeah, she does. Oh, he's, he's okay. nah, nah, okay. nah. He's not against it. So, uh, Tiersu getting Odin pretty rough. That's, uh, not a fun spot. Ugh. The, uh... The, uh... Just, just the MP resi Just the magic resistance of the Dark Elf spot is crazy high. Yeah. Fortunately, Fortunate. can't really do much. Not, not without an Edward to help us cheese through it. <laughs> <laughs> an Edward or a Yang with a Cat Claw and Thunder Claw. Yep, and uh, Mecca picking up uh, his darkness crystal as well. So it looks like probably Dr. Cossack gotta go scramble some eggs more than likely. 
Oh. Maybe more coffins. Probably. I mean, I don't see the point of doing Dwarf Castle with five key items. Maybe a character. Yeah. Maybe they're looking for a white mage. Oh, that's probably it. That's probably exactly it. We got Ruby at the doll spot. Uh, not a bad spot. Can be quite intimidating, though. Yeah, Mechelin, go ahead. Turning in his Darkness Crystal. Well, at least we get we get an encore of music at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately, um... yeah, it's it's kind of like like the the only time you're like I I don't think I wanted an encore. I wanted you to get through it, Tarasu. I believe in you. You can do it. See, these these ice twos might be a, a little too delayed here on Doctor Cossack side. Not this one. Maybe the next one if they unless they decide to try and wait out the uh, wait out the cape. So we'll see a glare. Let's hope this ice two doesn't go off. Otherwise, it's gonna be a uh, relatively oh, decent HP heal. No. Oh, that hurts to see. It should only be like 600 or so. Still, still a hefty amount of damage with this team. I like it just, just not even bother with elemental spells. Just, just quake. Uh, Tirasu's in a kind of a rough spot here, trying to get these uh, these viruses that are going to be only doing one damage. You get, you got to go with those bluffs or lit twos in this situation. Yeah. Trying to break through that high M defense. Also, I see all of you in chat. <laughs> I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> really, just... Yeah, yeah. Yep. What it's a slowly concept. following along. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Cossack got through that Rubicante fight. Mechalink may be picking up Rydia. Well, we'll have to Looks see. like it was a save reset. Unless I stumbled upon the... Uh... The, the bottom left corner to her. Ooh, Ooh, it's we a, have Cecil. a Cecil. Ooh, baby. Ooh. That's that's spicy. That that's definitely juicy. <laughs> Especially since everyone will have already done ordeal, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and and CPU being and CPU being here is quite nice. It's a 2,500 HP slot for main CPU, and then 250 for each uh, for each orb. Yeah, just just use Cecil as the white mage, you'll be good. <laughs> so, looking like uh, Dr. Cossack's gonna have uh, Cecil just take a nap right now. Probably playing to slingshot him if at all possible. Looks like Silch was the only one who checked the summon bosses and gets the Leviathan, uh, gets the Dark Imp, which is a pretty free fight here. Um, that's a lot of experience for this l little ragtag crew we got. Uh, especially if you life glitch them off. Three people going down with an hourglass too is no big deal. Tirsu may get off the oh gets gets the hey! kill actually oh baby, I saw that lit one cue and uh, I was I, I saw a couple of uh, of the Zantitsukens so far and I was I was hoping he would get the the swag kill but I got the dwarf X and just for a Bahamut well, that makes uh, Rydia viable though. So this is true. Oh the crystal <laughs> <at> dwarf castle. <laughs> Double go mode. Well, I will not uh, reveal uh, what happens if you go visit Zeromus on V2. If you haven't done it, go go do it. It's a really fun little Easter egg uh, board baked in there. It's pretty nifty. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not sure what Mechalink. Oh, Mechalink's doing the moon grind. That's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, and, uh, he, and he did take Rydia with him. Not a not a bad call. Mm. Um. Uh oh, this could get scary. <laughs> Hopefully, uh... Oh, okay, good. The, 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 the Sid that had the hourglass queued is good. 
<laughs> that was a that was a close one. Definitely like about to give me the vapors over here. <laughs> it's like uh, I'm wondering if Doctor Cossack's gonna just take a peek right away, or if they're gonna try and grind fight. Aw, uh, Zilch is getting a drain spear for all that work. Yo, train spear hype. Let's train go. spear hype. We got edge. It's an easy 2,500 damage. <laughs> yeah, we're going to just see uh, what uh, Cossack will be up to, uh, Rex. So, making his way down into the giant. Probably going to save and then at least see what the first boss is. And then kind of make a decision from there would be my thought. You really be you know it'd be really trolly if it was Kana though. Ooh. Ooh, that that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the way you think, Couch. <laughs> but even I'm like, that's mean. <laughs> I mean, Natara's I I've I've played some randomizer teeth in Natara but Natara's rolled before. And uh I, I don't know, I, there's just something about mean Natara seeds that make me really happy. Alright, well I guess we're going to be gr uh, grinding on the Mac Giants. It's not, a, it's not a bad choice for a grind, especially since you've got the Sirens, you may as well. Especially if you got Sid. Sid's just gonna tear through these guys really quick. So right now, everyone is in go mode except for uh, Tirasu. I'm sure he'll get there real quick, though. But uh, we have uh, Dark Cossack continuing uh, with that Mac Giant grind. Waiting to see. Uh, where Sid it so uh, he can make good use of that life glitch. Oh yeah, there we go. Thirty-seven levels for Sesta. Let's go. That's a that's a fair that's a fair that's a fair chunk. Yeah. <laughs> meaty chunk of experience. It's gonna give Cecil some quite dang good damage. Quick save beforehand is nice. Get a full yeah. heal between, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about healing up in between. And uh, show me Kainazo. <laughs> Rubs hands together. Uh, you got a feed. Aww. You got a Mylon up here. He was bad, man. Is it Mylon Classic or <laughs> Mylon Z? Uh, even it's that's ah. free. That's free. Cecil with the Crystal Sword and Bacchus Wines. Psh, easy. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty free Z if you, if people took the time to pick up Cecil. The real question is: Is will anyone else take the time to pick up C Cecil? Uh, well, we we can tell that Zilch is not. We did not yeah. see that pickup from Zilch. But, um, they've got an alternate tactic going on. Tiersu making their way to the land of summon monsters, which is what I like to see. We're gonna have, uh, quite a few people. Pretty much, well, everybody will be in go mode on the, yeah. uh, on the screen. Oh man, this, this backwards land of summon monsters really, really throws up the <laughs> anticipation. <laughs> Especially with that chest being the last one checked. There we go. Glees the crystal on it for swag. <laughs> now you can still use the crystal. It won't do anything. You can use it. <laughs> it's true color for it. To be fair, the crystal did used to do something, but we had to patch that out. <laughs> All 
right, but Cossack threw the elements bot. Zilch starting up w without a crystal sword, so this fight will be a little bit longer. Yeah. But uh, with with two black mages, having fire two even is just crazy huge. Now, as Doctor Cossack though is approaching uh, a CPU, I will I will bring everyone's attention to the fact that no one has actually finished yet. So this is kind of you know his, his his race to win if he if he goes for it. It's a uh, it's pretty spicy that nobody's finished yet, especially knowing where the uh, where the uh... oh, goodness. Sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought. Where? Uh... Sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're we're gonna see who our CPU is tonight. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> who, wait, who, who's, whose butt are we gonna kick? The Hobbit's oh. butt! Oh, and as we said that we actually did have our first finisher off screen, uh, congrats to Marth SR, who came in first place. Ooh, GG. GG to Marth. But we'll see how quickly Cossack can, uh, yeah, can I throw out that silk web there. Yeah. And uh, Marth, Marth apparently only did it with two Sids and one Palin. That is. Oh wow. That is uber impressive. GG. GG indeed. All right. Hey. hey! Hey! So they're with the crystal sword, bringing it on home. Dr. Cossack comes in second place with a time of 45 minutes and 43 seconds. GG, that was, that was well played. Very well played. Let's see if we can get uh, Dr. Cossack in here for an interview. I, I feel like Zilch's party is uh, oh, is a little blurry. <laughs> um, Doctor Cossack has uh, decided not not to do an interview tonight. That's totally fine. There's never any pressure at all to do that. But again, congrats for being our first restream runner to uh, to bring it on home here. So we've got a. Uh, Zilch coming, as well as Mechali coming up right on uh, their heel, so we'll see what happens. Zilch getting through uh, quite easily. A lot of illusions used, no big deal. Um, yeah. Makes for easy avoidance of uh, those very strong punches that will come from Mylon Z here. Um, using fire too, no big deal. And uh, Tears who's starting up their egg grind, we should see... Uh, I, don't, I don't know how many we'll see. Probably like three to four eggs probably cracked here. Especially knowing that it's V2. Uh, another reason illusions mm -hmm. are uber powerful is because uh, if, if you can just if you can just look on like Mecha Link's side, you can see there the just oh, the yeah. misses after misses after misses. So if you ever see any illusions, I highly recommend. Uh, I highly recommend picking them up if you see them in a shop. And Mechalink, making use of that Leviathan summon we found earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, it's fairly decent damage from Rydia. You can't really complain about that too much. Zilch starting up a Hummet, so Zilch should be on the tail end of a, of a, of a finish here soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Zilch does have those Star Veils. Uh, make a pretty easy quick fight. Slip bomb and do his countdown. In case you're all wondering, the spoon was a pale dim spot. 
<laughs> An item we could not use at a boss that did not matter. Oh, we I mean, we could have used it with Edge. This is true. This is true. That. <laughs> oh, we have a we have another offline finisher or an offline off-stream finisher. Uh Salty Fry finishing in third with a time of 4850. Uh, huge shout out. Third place. Good job. Nice. Good job. Go salty. Oh, yeah, Zilch pretty much. Yeah, there it is. There's that flash. Coming in at fourth place at 49 minutes and 11 seconds. Very nicely done, Zilch. Let's we'll see if uh, Zilch Back feels like. Two. Yeah. Pretty solid. We'll see about getting Zilch in here for an interview. Tirsu finally getting their lunar whale. <laughs> Gonna make their way to the the moon. I mean, the giant. <laughs> the giant that was from the moon. The I think that's what the giant. I think that's what the lore is, right? Yeah, something like that. Sounds sounds, sounds legit enough. We got, a, we got another off-stream finisher. Fifth place goes to Flurry 14. Um, I, I've raced Flurry a few times. Uh, they're they're quite they're quite good. Uh, fantastic finish, GG. Absolutely. Mechlink still working his way through Mylon Z. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hello, GG's Gigi. built? Dude. Well, that's to be a pretty smooth ride? Yeah, regretting my decision to do that dark in fight, but other than that, seems pretty, pretty nice. No ordeal. I mean, I, mean, I mean, we give you, you know, props for, for still, you know, seeing what could be lurking there. Getting that, you know, the little bit of extra leveling as well, so. I don't think I got off any life glitches either, which didn't help. But yeah, the, oh well, the, the peak was still a pretty good play to get some uh, extra experience there. Yeah, I guess I should have checked the giant though, just to see if there are free bosses, like there were. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you did you did an excellent job though. You know, pretty, pretty much what we expect from you. Uh, uh, anyone take the hook route down? Uh, surprisingly, no. Uh, we did have, um... Yeah, I think you were the only one who went and got the character, though. Uh, Another thing yeah, I right. was debating, especially without exits. Right. I was gonna say, Dr. Kossick went and uh, grab as well. I was happy to see an edge there, though, so yeah. can't complain about that. And the Bacchus wine great things to find, so. Oh, yeah. Always a good thing to find. Did anyone check the moon character? Or everyone went? Uh, moon character was Rhea, and Mechalink took her. Oh, well, we have a Leviathan summon from somewhere. Uh, that was, uh, back, uh, early, uh that's from the, from the D-Mist, is where right. we went Leviathan. Right. Yeah, that could have been fun. Nice little Leviathan casting at Bahamut. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you think your uh, strongest play of the uh, the seed was? Ah, uh, strongest play of the seed. Uh, probably living through Valvalis with one health left. <laughs> that that was that was very clutch. <laughs> that was, that was I got a little bad. worried. I'm like, wait, I have got an illusion. We can make this work. <laughs> Oh, that would have sucked. <laughs> that was a uh, that was quite the clutch play there. Getting a little bit nervous. Uh, tr trust me, you had you had chat on on the edge of all of their collective seats. <laughs> as long as it's entertaining, right? Exactly. That's what we're, what we're here for. 
here to show off all of the amazing runners in our community. And there are so many. We are absolutely, we, we are blessed with like a wealth of amazing runners. Yeah, it's always fun just to even watch a race, even if you're not participating in it, just because everyone's skill is so high. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, been yeah. amazing to watch everyone like uh, grow over the course of practicing for the league, and hopefully that will continue to those of uh, our runners who might not have made the league but still want to go participate in the Hummingway Open. So, yeah, that should be fun to watch too. Yeah, we're gonna have we have a lot of really good events going on this summer, and I'm really excited for all of them. Well, do you have any uh, final thoughts on this seed? Ah, uh, nope. I think that's all I had on that. Thanks for the commentary, restreaming, tracking, all that good stuff. And, and thank you. And putting together all this stuff. And thank you as well for, for putting on a great show for everyone this evening. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful one. Yeah. Thank you. You GG too. One more time as well. Yeah, GG. Uh, so while we were talking, uh, unfortunately, Mecha Link wiped to Mylon Z. So go to go ahead, try that fight again. See if uh, he can get through it this time. Yeah, unfortunately, like, if, if you're not super prepared for this fight, it can be a little rough. Um, you just got to keep the illusions up on on your team there. Yeah, but I, I know Mechalink can get through this. He's a excellent runner, so he'll, he'll get there. Never have doubts of uh, any of the, the different runners in our community. I believe in absolutely each and every one of them. So we're going to see. But uh, both uh, Mecha and Tirasu doing their best, keeping up those illusions. Being executed quite quite well on both ends, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not the easiest fight, especially with this team. Um, be, it'd be nicer if uh, there was, a, you know, an Earth Hammer or two, so you could just Bacchus to sit and let him go ham. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Secure threes will be uh, could be quite useful as well, especially if uh, looks like the damage from Sid's not doing too well in the middle slot, even being back row glitched with that Dwarf Axe. Yeah, those those um the fire threes that we're getting from um uh from the Pelhams though. Those are doing some major work. And meanwhile over on Mechalink's side, uh making good use of Bridia with that uh so we must have picked up a uh, self in one of the treasures at some point. I don't remember if I remember where we saw that. I don't remember seeing self actually. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I mean, there there is usually a lot going on, but. <laughs> uh, there we go. Tirasu through Mylon Z. Good going there. Fantastic job. Fire 3 really uh, gets a little bit more damage output there. But uh, Leviathan's doing some work over on uh, over on Mechalink's side, as long as these fast Fire 2s are being thrown out there. I don't know the poison walk, but that's okay. <laughs> Still a fight you can walk away from. Indeed. Uh, come on, Poison Walk is like one of the best effects in the game. What are you talking about? No! <laughs> like, it, it would be okay if it was one or the other. <laughs> if it was the beeps or the, the shaky screen. But the fact that it's both. You just pair it with the trap tiles in uh, Land of Summon Monsters and you're good. Uh, I mean, I, I can't say anything. I, I, I run Final Fantasy Legend 2 and I talk about the crunchy <laughs> lava. <laughs> That's fair. All right, so we'll see how Tirasu is going to take on Bahamut. Shouldn't really be like any other, uh, any anybody else. Use some of those star bales that you purchased early on, and uh, yeah. just go ham. We 
basically let Bahamut take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. That's nice, because this spot's got a quite low HP for where you think it would be. Um, just a few quakes, and this, these, this reflected Mega Nuke is going to be uh, basically the death of Bahamut here. Tear Shoes looks like not gonna have any problems at all with this fight. Meanwhile, Mecha Link still chipping away at the, the, the massive amount of HP that Mylon Z has in the slot. Um, keeping that HP up with Sylph is uh, pretty big. Yeah, that's definitely like the uh, an excellent use of uh, having Riddy end the party. And, uh, and the fact that Sylph doesn't actually cost any cost any MP is fantastic. <laughs> and Bahamut gets the kill on Bahamut. <laughs> and Tirasu coming in at 7th place of a time of 59 minutes and 47 seconds. Good job, Tirasu. <laughs> Bahamut was the, uh, the best member of... Uh, the best DPS person there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tirasu. Hey. Hello. GG, first of all. <laughs> GG. Well, GG to Bahamut as well. <laughs> I mean, if you can get the final boss to kill himself, why yeah, not? Why not? Exactly. So what did you think of this seed? It was fun. I mean, dying to Odin at Twin Harp, though. Yeah. We're, we're like, it's the saddest reason to ever have an encore. Eh, I was just playing just to relax tonight. It wasn't taking it too seriously like the qualifier. That that That's 100% fair. I'm glad that uh, we could just come have like ourselves a nice sort of chill time. But still, you know, put on a good show for everybody. Yeah, double harp, losing to Val three, two or three <laughs> times, accidentally berserking a palum. You still did fine. Yeah. It's okay. Sub hour's still pretty solid time. Oh yeah. no, I'm not upset whatsoever. I was just having fun with it. Uh, that's that's the whole point of this, right? Just to have fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, everyone though on, on stream though did an excellent job. So everyone put on a very good show for the viewers this evening. It's just nice to, you know, not have to worry about Moon, not have to worry about Big Bangs. Oh, and, yeah. You know, not have to worry about a hook route with Kainatso. No, no. I mean, we don't know who the other uh, boss was down there. We, we definitely saw that Lugay was there, but I don't think we... Yeah, no one else, uh, everyone else got the, uh, the magma key. So we have no idea what else was lurking down there. Yeah, I thought about grabbing the character when I found the hook, but it was just too much extra time. That's fair, uh, if you're curious, it was Edge down there. Go figure, and I had a bunch of gear for him, too. Uh, I know. That happens, though. You always have, you know, you always are like, what am I going to do with all this ninja gear? I don't have an Edge, and then he's just kind of lurking off in his vanilla spot. Oh, I always end up just selling it all, and then all of a sudden he appears, so... Ah, uh, it happens, it happens. Uh, there, there's a reason he's a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Never it's around true. when you need him. And, uh, Mechalink actually getting uh, the, the killing blow in there. GG to Mechalink. Congrats to Mechalink. GG to him. Anyways, I think I'm gonna head out. Y'all have a good night. You too, Tirasu. Thank you again. GG again. Mm-hmm. Also, very quickly, chat, while we're getting uh, Mechalink in here for the interview, I'm going to give you all just a teeny tiny hint. You're going to want to stay tuned to after the interviews. There's a little surprise we have, because if the free enterprise community is good about anything, we're good about surprises. Spicy. 
It's very spicy. I, I love I love the spiciness that you just dropped. Your, uh, <laughs> it's uh, really caliente. Sprinkle it like salt bay over this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mecca Link. Hi, GGs. Thank you. Yeah, GG. So uh, how hmm? how close was I to actually like doing well before I completely like face rolled myself? <laughs> oh, you're 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 doing you're doing fine. You really were. Yeah, yeah. and then you, I face rolled myself. Well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it happens. Uh, it happens. I deserved it, right? I went back in saying that. Oh no, two quakes. Uh, you know, two quakes from each, and then I got another bunch of levels. And nope, nope, didn't have any MP. Nope. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, uh, what was your favorite part of the seed? Uh, gee, I don't know. Um, trying to think. There's a lot. Uh, we got another, like, like qualifier five, was it? We got another, like, heavy black mage seed. That was cute. Um,. Yeah, having, uh, having having the two palums with uh with the ninja edge there was uh slash the ridia that you had were uh oh were was nin quite ninja great. edge was in cave Evelyn or yeah, dwarf castle the, the vanilla edge yeah vanilla uh, edge. dwarf castle I was actually Cecil for that crystal sword that y'all yeah had. I kind of <laughs> felt that one of the two other characters was good because like the like everybody else finished and like the sins just weren't that great. Right, like, even if I gained like five levels, that still would have been a slog of a fight. So I kind of felt like one of the other characters was good, but I sure as heck wasn't going to go back and get them. Well, still, so you 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 clutched it out in the end. And that's the important thing. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Like I'm just some reminders of what I need to do in the in the um in the league seeds, right? Like need to be a little more aware of that sort of thing need to be a little more aware of like i stopped illusioning as much um at the in the um in the element slot fight and it i ended up dying and so that was kind of me stress testing how bad or good i was off and the answer was i needed to illusion a little more <laughs> That's okay. The, the, the important thing is that you learn something for every seed you play. Every run is a new lesson. No, yeah, no, that's that's you know I like I take get to take that lesson forward. You know, so I'm fine with that. Well, excellent. Any any uh, final thoughts on this? Um, it's interesting that we didn't have hourglass ones um, visible in this in the shops that I checked, um, but because usually we had. Um, yeah. one of those coffins. Uh, twos, right, Couch? Yeah, we saw two. We saw twos. Yeah, right, I picked up twos. I actually kept good note this time, so I, you know, you saw me dip in a couple times and just go in, like laser in and grab some items that I left behind, grabbing the sirens, right, like grabbing the hourglass twos, right. Um. Well, that's good. Good, good note taking. Absolutely, <laughs> a excellent rando skill to develop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a memory castle that I've designed for the seeds yet, but I haven't fully got it set up. Oh but my god, I, I want to see that when you when you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I I can talk to you about it later. <laughs> <laughs> I will be excited to see that. Thank you so much, Meckling, for sharing that with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, GG's to everybody else, and mm -hmm. hope the people enjoyed the watching, and look forward to the Zemus Zone qualifier, or the Zemus Zone, you know, first, uh, stage, uh, stuff coming up, you know, in yep. the next few weeks. Yep, everyone's very excited for the round of 32. Also, we got the Humming Way open as well. Yeah, I saw. So, we have, uh, I, lots I really of really like fun that. Events. I really like that ad. Last year, I bricked on Zemus Zone, it was kind of, oh, okay. Uh, so, like, having the humming way last year, I liked that idea, and so I'm glad that it exists this year. Yeah, we're happy to uh, to bring it forward. It's something that we've been working on for uh, getting together for like the last like few months, kind of ironing out all the details. So I'm mm -hmm. glad people are excited. Yeah.
But uh, with that, we actually do have something a little extra to announce. What? We don't make announcements here. What are you talking about? We totally don't. We totally don't make surprise spicy announcements at the end of streams. Announcements every day. And speaking oh, yes. of which, Lamb. For it to come up my there it is so uh for those of you who are in the discord you might have seen uh supremacy organized a router's relish seed an async seed encouraging people to play a seed as many times as they like and develop a route for it so we've invited the top four from that uh race so this is baka shinobi dusty grip dusty griff kobahi and simbu they are going to show off the uh, the router race uh, on this channel here, Free Enterprise, Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you'd like to see a seed utterly demolished and optimized, uh, this is going to be your chance. This is uh, our first time kind of doing an event like this. I'm really excited and uh, I hope you all will enjoy. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a fantastic time. And speaking of someone who participated but did not make the top four, it's a super amount of fun just to go through and practice the routing. So watching the four people who did the best at it and see what they end up coming out with is just going to be a fabulous watch. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, so I hope that you all will enjoy. Um, and on commentary, you're going to have Supremacy and Invenerable, always an amazing team. And uh, I'll be handling the restream. So we got good team on it. Well, oh yeah, thank you. Oh, go ahead, Natara. I was just going to say, with that, I think we are actually done for the evening. Um, so that is our last race for today. Um, there are going to start being some uh, Highway to the Zima Zone races cropping up. So definitely keep an eye out for announcements on when those are going to be. But uh, until anything comes out, the next race will be that Router's Relish uh, right here on uh, Wednesday. And until then, we are actually going to send a raid to our lovely admin, Demarine 2, who is currently doing some Zelda 1 randomizer practice. So as apparently, other than this weekly race, nobody's playing Free Enterprise. We may have burnt people out, because it's not like we just had qualifiers or anything. So have <laughs> well, a... I... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, just go, everyone go bring Demarine your love. Bring her love, and uh, thanks for coming out, and hopefully we'll all see you on Wednesday. Bye, everybody! Bye! Bye!